Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for uh, Sagittarius. This is going to be for the first half of your January from the 1st to the 15th. So uh, we're just going to take a look at your over, over energies, what's surrounding guys, what you guys need to know for the first half of the month, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, with you, you may take a look at good replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, also on um, Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, also, if you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is in the description box below. Do all the YouTube stuff to support me on there too. Okay, so tell me about Sagittarius. Energy check in for Sagittarius for the first half of the January from the 1st to 15th. Over energies for Sagittarius. Energy check in for Sagittarius for the first half of their January. For Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. So we have the Six of Wands here. So I feel like you're feeling really confident about yourself at this time here. Six of Pentacles here. Um, you know, I do feel like people are watching you because I feel like you know, I do feel like you're giving a lot and I feel like you're really generous at this time here. You know, it could be that you're feeling really successful in the work that you're doing here too. And I feel like people are just watching you, okay? Uh, you know, I do feel like people are really enjoying the work that you're putting out there or that, you know, uh, they like your skills or experiences. You know, it could be a situation that, you know, some of you guys could be social media influencers or something like that, okay? In that you guys are getting great... Pay, pay pretty good or pretty well for it, all right? You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if you guys are a social media influ influencer or, or, the, or that you guys are in the public eye here, I do feel like you guys are about to work with like sponsors and stuff like that. So I feel like that could be coming maybe in the next three weeks if you guys are talking to somebody here in regards to that with the star card here and the three of wands. This is interesting. I, I feel like some of you guys might be uh, 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 tarot readers, or you got, if you guys are not tarot readers, you guys just do stuff on social media, okay? Um, we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Seven of Swords. Interesting. I feel like there's something abrupt that's gonna happen here. Where I feel like I feel like you're gonna be feel you're feel like you're gonna feel like you're feel you're gonna feel like you're being sabotaged here. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on here. The Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. Tell me the uh, the Tower, the Tower here and the Eight of Pentacles here. Be careful here. If you're signing contracts with anybody, make sure you are thorough about the contract you're getting here. Okay, I do feel like somebody here could take advantage of you or sabotage you here. You know, you might miss something regarding uh, the cuts that you're getting here What and when it comes to payment here. Make sure you're clear about that. You talk about it. It's um, and, and, and it's also on paper. Okay, the uh, Three of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the uh, Star card, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are doing really, really, really well. Okay, whatever work that you're doing here. You know, sometimes that star card is a representation of giving back to others and being of service to others. That's also a light worker card too. So if you guys do light work, you guys are doing great. If you guys are working in the fields where you guys are innovating and helping society here, that is going really well here too. Okay, Six of Pentacles here and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so um, I do feel like this is like a personal business here. I really do. And I feel like you guys are definitely having a great time and just really enjoying the experience here at this time here. I do feel like all eyes are on you or, or a lot of people are watching you and you're making a lot of money here. Okay. So uh, we have the full card, Aries energy and the Ace of Wands here. 
What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What does the Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on here for the first half of their January for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius? Oops, what did I do here? Okay. For Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands here, Sagittarius. That's your energy right here. And we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay. I feel like the fire has really been lit within you here. Yeah, I just feel like you're just really going for what you want at this time here. Okay, I feel like you guys are finding your uh, your purpose. I feel like you guys are finding your passion here. I just feel like, you know, it's taking some time for you to kind of like realize it because I feel like you've done a lot of inner work to try and figure out like, you know, what you're meant to do here. And I feel like you're doing it here, Sagittarius. Okay, tell me more. We have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and then we have the uh, Sun card. Wow. You know, Sagittarius, I feel like really you don't have anything to worry about. Things are going really, 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 really well. I mean, you feel like you should really be enjoying the rewards of what you're doing here. Okay. Eight of Swords here and the Sun, Leo energy. The uh, Queen of Wands here and the Two of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Why is the Two of Swords here? I mean, both of these individuals has blindfolds on. You know, I, I feel like you're worried. Yeah, I feel like you're worried it's not going to work out, but I feel like it is going to work out. I mean, if you're feeling paranoid about someone here taking advantage of you here, I feel like it's important for you to trust your intuition that something is not right here, you know? So, you know, just be careful. Yeah, just be careful here. Because I do feel like, you know, I do feel like someone here wants to take your money or maybe take your ideas here, okay? Yeah, this is someone who's a bit of a taker here, who's grabby. I mean, this could be a friend or something like that or somebody else in general that's like really maybe jealous about your business here, okay? Yeah, someone here... It, someone's intentions are to sabotage you. So just be careful here, Sagittarius. The Sun card... We have the Three of Cups, the Eight of Swords here, and the King of Cups here. Okay. I mean, this could also be an indication that someone here cannot stop thinking about you and they're looking to reconcile here with you. I mean, it could be an indication that this person disappeared from your life for a very long time and I feel like this person could be rushing in very quickly to reconnect with you here. Okay. Um, so King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, whoever this person is, this person's in love with you. Yeah, I just feel like there's just all eyes are on you at this time here. And yeah, I just feel like you're being noticed. I feel like you're being recognized. I feel like you're being talked about here. The Hermit and the Five of Wands here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? And the Emperor Aries energy. Okay. I, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like there is someone here that's also another person that's rushing in also that's really pissed off. And I feel like this could be a parent here. And I feel like this parent is really, really, really incredibly jealous about your success here. And I feel like this is someone that you don't want anything to do with. Yeah, because I feel like this parent has never supported you on all, any of the things that you wanted to do. Yeah, instead of supporting you, I feel like this person made you second guess yourself. I feel like this person made you feel like you couldn't do it. You know, so I feel like this is someone that you don't want to surround yourself with. All right. So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.